Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I have my top 10 summer fragrances for 2022. I've curated a little fragrance wardrobe which I'm very happy about. This was hard. I feel like I could definitely make a part two to this video. I just didn't want to put loads of fragrances in one video because I just think it's overwhelming for me to film, for you to watch. But if you would like a part two, do let me know. I'm going to take you through all of my current favourites and let's get straight into this. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok as always and let's get into it. First off, I have Memoirs Luxuria. This is a fragrance where I smelled it and I was just instantly like, I need a bottle of that. This happens every so often where I just absolutely fall in love with a fragrance and that is what has happened with this one. This is a gorgeous mix of white and yellow florals, but this girl is on another level. This is so feminine, sweet, sophisticated, classy, but seductive at the same time. It's got this gorgeous blend of ylang ylang, tuberose, lily, but then it opens up with this gorgeous fruity touch. It's got blackcurrant and raspberry in there. And then in the base, you've got this beautiful ambery vanilla warmth. It is musky. It's quite clean as well, which is really nice. Because it's a warm fragrance, you wouldn't expect it to also have that sort of clean element to it. But I really like that. It's just absolutely intoxicating. It is so feminine. And oh, it's... This was created to embody like lust and seduction and I really feel like it does. Honestly, the next day that I go on, I am going to wear this. I'm so happy that I have discovered it. And this is an eco-conscious and cruelty-free brand as well, which is absolutely amazing. Next I have Sintra by Memo Paris. My bottle is from Twisted Lily. You guys know that I always have my Twisted Lily discount code for you, Kate10, for 10% off their entire website. They hold some amazing niche fragrance brands that you usually don't get a discount on, so it's great that you can. Sintra is just gorgeous. If you're a fan of Killian Love Don't Be Shy, try this because this, it has a very similar feel but to me this is just so much more elevated. This is a gorgeous, sweet, powdery, orange blossom, neroli, marshmallow fragrance. It's got this gorgeous pettigrain note which gives it this green touch. It's like this green sort of earthy touch which I just feel elevates this fragrance so much. It makes it smell very expensive and it makes it unique as well which I love because this DNA has been done in a few different fragrances now and I just feel like the green touch in Sintra just takes it to the next level. I think it's amazing. This has got a gorgeous sort of vanilla, caramel, musky base. It's got this sort of milky quality to it as well. So sexy, so intoxicating. This is another one that I would personally wear on a date in summertime. And I think that you could wear this daytime or nighttime as well, same as the previous one. This lasts forever on your clothes and on your skin as well. If you want a fragrance that is just going to last you until the next time you shower, definitely pick this one up. It is absolutely amazing. So sexy. Next, I have a recent launch which I have just fallen in love with and it is Creed Windflowers. This is such a gorgeous warm floral that's also fresh and it has this beautiful ambery woody base. It's got so many florals in here, it's just so beautiful. And also at the bottle, I love it so much. This has jasmine, orange blossom, it's got tuberose, iris, it's got rose in there as well. It's got a hint of peach, which is really nice. And like I said, it's just got this warm, sort of ambery, woody base. It's just so well-rounded. I've been wearing this during the day, on a night time. I honestly could see somebody wearing this on their wedding day. It is such an elegant scent. It really, to me, this fragrance just completely embodies 
timeless elegance and femininity. I think it's just absolutely stunning. I do think this is a try before you buy though. I wouldn't blind buy this. Definitely go and smell it, see what you think because I think what I am interpreting as timeless elegance, I do think some people might interpret as mature, you know? Um, but oh, this fragrance, it's just so beautiful and I think it would fit a woman of any age as well. Next up is a fragrance that I discovered last week and that I really love. It is Juliet Has A Gun Magnolia Bliss. I was invited to their launch event in Manchester for this. We had cocktails at the Ivy, we made flower crowns because this is 70s themed. Have you seen the campaign for this fragrance? I just love it. It's just gorgeous summer of 69 vibes I'm here for it it was such a lovely day and this is such an amazing fragrance this is a fresh magnolia fragrance it's got some citrus in the top from some bergamot it's got this gorgeous fruity touch from some mirabelle plum and some nectarine as well and then it's got this really nice musky base this is overall a light fresh, easy to wear fragrance for day to day. I just love it. Like if I worked in an office, I would 100% wear this fragrance. It's just so likeable. Like I said, it's easy to wear and I think it's a great one for day to day if you want something nice and light and fresh and something that you can wear first thing in the morning as well. If you have a job where you're just going out the door and you want to put something on and it's like half eight in the morning and you don't want anything really intense, this is a great one for that. So after the Juliet Has A Gun event, I had a bit of free time before my train back. So I went to Harvey Nichols, I went to Selfridges, I just really wanted to try out a load of fragrances because in Newcastle, we have a Phoenix and I love Phoenix, but we don't have a Harvey Nicks or a Selfridges. So I really wanted to try out some brands that I don't normally get a chance to try. And I smelled so many fragrances. I honestly spent about an hour and a half just going around all the fragrances, smelling so many different ones. And I ended up absolutely falling head over heels in love with Tamine Blue Heart. I, uh, I smelled so many fragrances from this brand. The girl was lovely. She sprayed this on a card and gave it to me to smell and instantly I was like, can I spray this on myself and just go away and see what I think? And she was like, yeah, go for it. So I did. When I tell you, I did one lap of the beauty section and it was a fast lap. It took me a solid three minutes and I was back there buying a bottle of this. I instantly fell in love with this fragrance and it is their newest fragrance as well. This is like nothing I have ever smelled before in my life. It is so unique. It's, it's ambery, it's musky, it's powdery, but it's fresh, but it's got a warmth to it. It's got coconut, it's got saffron which gives it this lovely airy feel, it's got tonka bean, it's got vanilla so it's got this lovely sort of rounded quality and it has um, nagamotha, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is basically cypriol which gives it this gorgeous woody feel and cypriol if you don't know it which I mean unless you're massively into fragrances why would you it can easily be confused for oud so this does have that sort of woody oudy feel to it if you like fragrances like that but you want something that's going to work in the summertime definitely check blue heart out and it's got this gorgeous gorgeous iris root note it is just stunning it gives it this ever so slight green touch it gives it that gorgeous powdery quality you guys know i love iris so much honestly you could wear this daytime or nighttime it is so sophisticated and luxurious and it is just like i said it's so unique nothing that i've ever smelled before I loved a lot of Tamine's fragrances, actually. They have some amazing ones. I loved Peregrina as well, which is one that I've heard a lot about online. Um, but Blue Heart was just, I needed this for summer. I just think it is insane, insane. Also, I got this engraved for myself when I was buying it. The woman was like, would you like it engraved? We're doing complimentary engraving. And I was like, yeah. So she was like, do you want your name? And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, do you want a little love heart? And I was like, 
go on then. I'd had a few drinks at this event. I was honestly a little bit tipsy, not gonna lie, walking around Selfridges and I mean, how cute am I buying a perfume and getting it engraved for myself? <laughs> I love Tipsy Kate. Next I have Tocca Colette. First of all, I absolutely love the Tocca bottles. I think they are stunning. This one is so beautiful for summer. It's a woody citrus done to perfection. It's got lemon, juniper berries, mandarin, and then it's also got cedar, pine needles. It's got this gorgeous vanilla sweetness running through the fragrance. It's a light, fresh, easy to wear fragrance, and I think this is a perfect one to wear just day to day. This, to me, brings to mind someone who is just really carefree and effortlessly chic. I love it. It is one that you do need to top up if you want to be able to smell it throughout the day. As with most citrus fragrances, those notes just tend to die off a bit quicker, but perfect for warmer weather. This honestly reminds me so much of Byredo's Gypsy Water, and it's literally like half the price. I would 100% recommend this over Gypsy Water any day. Next, I have Amouage Honor Woman. This again is from Twisted Lily. Kate 10 for 10% off your entire order. Amazing. Amouage is a brand that I just love to me. They epitomize luxury. And this fragrance is just beautiful. It smells honestly like an angel. It, it's just this gorgeous, it smells like a big, massive bouquet of white flowers. It just, it smells like somebody's wedding day to me. I could totally imagine a bride wearing this. It's so elegant, so chic. It's got tuberose, it's got gardenia, lily, jasmine. It's got this lovely sort of dewy, almost juicy quality as well to it, especially in the opening. There's some rhubarb in the opening, which you definitely get. And this has some deeper base notes like incense and amber, which you don't really pick up on, but they definitely give the fragrance some depth. I feel like this is such a well-rounded floral fragrance. You've got those beautiful big white florals. You've got a really deep, warm base, but it's also got this sort of dewy, fresh quality. It is just absolutely stunning. And like I said, this is just so sophisticated classy, elegant, and I could totally, totally see this on a bride. But for me, it's a fragrance that I will wear during summertime when I just wanna feel beautiful. This to me is just a beautiful fragrance. Next, I have Parfum de Mali Safonade. This has become an obsession for me whenever it's warm outside. I put this on, it is a gorgeous orange blossom and vanilla fragrance. It is sweet, it is warm, it is so sensual. It is just stunning. It's got this gorgeous sort of ambery musky base as well. This is just, uh, like this is so feminine. And like I said, it's just sexy. It's got that sensual sexiness to it, but it's also light and bright, which is really, really nice. And this fragrance just blooms in the warmer weather on a sunny day. Like you can wear this daytime or nighttime, but when it's warm, it just comes alive. It radiates off your skin. This is a fragrance that I would personally only wear in summertime when it's warm and it just makes you smell like a goddess. That is the only way I can put this to you. You need to smell this fragrance. I know that everybody talks about Delina from Parfum de Mali, myself included. We love Delina. But if you haven't tried Safonade, try Safonade. Next is another one from Memoirs, which I absolutely cannot get enough of, especially when it is warm outside. This one's called Humanitas. I think that's how you pronounce this. This is the most gorgeous, fruity, fresh, woody scent. It is amazing. It's got a slight sweetness to it as well, but it's got passion fruit, orange. It's so juicy and fresh. There's a little bit of peach in here. There's some florals running through the heart, and then it's got this gorgeous, musky, woody base. It is so perfect for daytime or evening, but it's one of those fragrances that works so well when the weather is warm. It just cuts through that warm air. It's got this slight sort of 
sharpness to it from the woodiness and the juicy fruits. I love this fragrance so, so much. If you enjoy fragrances like Zerzhov Herba Pura or um, Mansara um, Juicy Flowers, I think you're really going to love this. It's got a similar sort of feel. It's in the same realm and it is just stunning. Also, the bottles. The Memoirs bottles are just absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have Roger Elixir, which is a beautiful, light, fresh, fruity, sort of watery fragrance with a little bit of sweetness. It is absolutely stunning, so perfect for day to day. It's got some peach, bergamot and raspberry in there. The fruitiness is really gorgeous. It's got some beautiful florals in there. It's got some rose, jasmine, violet, lily, and it's got this beautiful musky base. This really does sit quite close to your body, which is perfect for hot weather. So I would recommend this again for if you're going on a summer holiday or if you just live in a really warm climate, this is such a perfect one for during the day. And also I just think the bottle is stunning. Next from Obvious, I have Un Fleur d'Oranger. I'm sorry that I'm not even trying to pronounce it in a French accent because you know I'll butcher it which will be worse than me just pronouncing it in an English accent, you know, but this is such a gorgeous, simple, fresh, clean, citrus, orange blossom fragrance, completely unisex this one. I do see this being easily worn by both men and women and it is just so gorgeous. I love orange blossom. This has got a petigrain note in, so it's got this ever so slight green touch. It's got neroli, it's got um, lemon leaf, which is just beautiful, and it's a great one to wear when you're fresh out of the shower. It's very invigorating and uplifting and so great, like I said, for day to day. Let me know if you'd like me to do a part two of this video because, like I said, I have more, believe it or not, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will link all of these fragrances down below for you guys. Put my Twisted Lily discount code to good use and I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know if you did. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!